back. Today I have this banga soup recipe for you to try. So, so delicious. So keep watching. Let's begin. First, I'm going to dissolve the banga concentrate. This is the one I'm using. If you're going to use the fresh banga, you want to cook that first, pound to extract the juice and then discard the shaft. But with the can, what I like to do is go in with some hot water, dissolve it and allow it to settle for about an hour. This way, all the particles settles at the bottom. Today's virtual hug is for Tessa Thomas watching from New York. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from. So while I allow that to settle, I go ahead and cook the meat. I have here some goat meat, snail. I've gone in with some onion seasoning and some pepper. Stir well to combine and allow this to sweat out its own moisture for around 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, I'll remove the snail and the reason is because I'll introduce it in later. I don't want the snail to overcook. Now add a bit more water to the goat meat, cover and continue to cook until it is about 80% done. For the spices, I have some yellow pepper, onion, irujeje, and ehuru. I'm using crayfish as well, but it's the grounded one. If you're using the whole one, add it here, blend everything together with a bit of water until it is smooth. This time the goat meat is about 80% cooked. I'll now introduce the palm juice. You can see the particles at the bottom. Do not add that, okay? Throw that out. Now to this, I'm going to go in with the snail and that's because I want it to get cooked before the soup is ready. It's not completely cooked at this point. So I'm going to cover halfway through and allow this to come to a boil. Now this was around 10 minutes later. I'll now introduce the grounded pepper, spices and onion. Going with some crayfish, everything you need to add, add it now. Next thing for me is going to be my dry fish, already washed. So add that and I'm going to add some ogilisi. I really love the aroma I give this soup. You don't have to because that irujeje is actually very fragrant. So with or without the ogilisi, the soup will still be delicious. So I adjusted it with a bit more salt. I'm going to stir well to combine and then cover halfway through so that this can all come together for the next 15 minutes. Fifteen minutes later, I come back and you guys, the aroma was nose blinding. You can almost perceive it through your screen. <laughs> Alright, so at this point, I'm going with the bitter leaf. I'm making bitter leaf banga soup. Stir that in, give it two minutes for everything to come together and settle in. And after two minutes, the soup is ready. Best served with which swallow? Let me know in the comment section. But I had this with Eba and it was still very good. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.